Ethiopia's civil war is heating up once again. Hostilities in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region escalated as airstrikes and the mobilization of troops in towns on either side of the border with neighboring Eritrea forced tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. The renewed hostilities after a five-month ceasefire threatened to hamper Eritrea's negotiations with the International Monetary Fund for a new loan and inflame regional tensions in the two-year-long conflict. New satellite imagery, one of the world's most reclusive nations, shows a military buildup inside Eritrea near the border with Ethiopia's northern Tigray region, backing up witness accounts of a new large-scale offensive. Eritrea has fought alongside Ethiopia against Tigrayan forces. It rejects allegations that its soldiers committed some of the worst atrocities in the conflict that began in late 2020. Witnesses in Eritrea told this month told the Associated Press that people, including students and public servants, are being rounded up across the nation and sent to fight in the new offensive. The satellite imagery provided by Maxar Technologies shows what Maxar described as battle tanks, self-propelled howitzers, and an M46 field gun battery in the Eritrean town of Surha, near the border, on September 19th. The town is across from the border of the Tigrayan town and one of the first communities overrun within the war. Eritrea is one of the world's most closed countries to independent journalists, and images from there related to the war in Ethiopia are rare. Last week, Tigrayan forces accused Eritrea of launching a full-scale offensive along the border in what appeared to be an escalation of fighting that renewed back in August after months of relative calm.